Hi, welcome to Streaming It Out Loud. I wanted to take a couple of minutes just to give you a quick demo of the different features of Streaming It Out Loud. It's a great way to be able to share your streams from Yammer to get more engagement and drive adoption inside of your organization, as well as just being a great way to keep up personally. If you go to the streamingitoutloud.com website, you can click on Stream My Feed Now. And if you're not already logged in with Yammer, it's going to ask you to log in. We don't keep any of your data at Streaming It Out Loud, but we do need to simulate your feed as a user, so that's why you have to log in. So when you first get into the screen, it's going to show your home feed, and you can go ahead and clear that if that's something that you don't want people to see. Uh, maybe you're logged in as administrator and you can see different private groups and that kind of stuff, but it's a, just a, a simple tool for being able to clear that screen. Uh, then you can go to the settings box and you can pick out which network you want your stream, your, your feed to be streamed from. Uh, so you can see I have a wide variety of choices here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Office 365 technical network, which is a, a great community to be a part of. Uh, and then I can go ahead and click save and I'll see that that feed start popping up. And so right now I'm seeing everything that's happening on that network. So it's basically showing me all of the groups, everything that's coming out of that network. So if I'm using this for an event or if I want to monitor a specific group, maybe it's my team or a specific topic, something that I'm really interested in, I can go ahead and start putting a filter on here. Uh, so if I start typing, for example, if I want to monitor the network power group, I can click that one. Uh, I can then go ahead and change out the background color if I want to. Uh, you know, maybe I like a, a deeper shade of gray or something else like this. Uh, or I can go ahead and change out the header color. So if I want to say this is, you know, something about Office 365 here, I'm going to go ahead and choose this bright orange color, hit choose. Uh, and I can also post in a URL to an image. Uh, and this image can be hosted anywhere that you have access to. So it could be an internet URL. So it could be the logo from your corporate website for your event. Or if you don't have easy access to that URL, I recommend that you upload to your home network in the all company file section, upload a JPEG or a PNG there, uh, and then link to it from there. Um, and if I click save, you'll see those changes have, have happened. So my header color has changed. Uh, here's that Office 365 logo that's out here. And you can see that that filter is working. I'm just seeing the feed from the network power group. And you can do this for any of the networks that you're a member of. Or if you have a, an event with different tracks, you can set up different screens for different displays. Uh, or if you're just monitoring this on your tablet, you know, it works on an iPad or on a cell phone or a Kindle Fire or a Surface or anything like that. Um, and basically the design is, is a responsive layout. So basically the columns are able to scale to the amount of space that you have. So in this case, I can make it very small or I can make it, you know, as, as wide as my screen is. So the, the layout will do that automatically. Now, sometimes when I have an event and you have uh, people, you know, it's a really big room and uh, you have people sitting right at the back of the room, sometimes it's difficult to keep track of the columns from that perspective. So for that situation, uh, we have a different event layout. Uh, and so if I go back to uh, just monitoring all company, for example, here, uh, and then click on the use event layout, um, and you'll see that it just forces it to be into one column. And so the text is bigger and it's maybe more readable if, again, if it's a large ballroom or something like that, and maybe it's simpler to, to see from, from the back of the room. So it's just a choice, right? You can have the, the sort of the wall look uh, with the tiles, which looks pretty cool, or you can have this look, which is sort of optimized for events. So figure out, you know, what works for you in, in your specific situation. Uh, we also have this notification here, so there's a, a way to play a sound every time a new message comes in. So again, this is great if you're running this as a tablet or just for your own personal, uh, you know, monitoring on a screen. Uh, you know, just like when uh, a new email comes in, uh, you can get a notification from your team of, you know, maybe somebody's posted in your group or a specific topic. So it's another another great way. Um, and I can apply, you know, whatever kind of filter I like here. So as I start typing, you can see that I get options for different groups, uh, for different topics and for different people. So I can select those and I can change these things as many times as I like. So it's just a, a great way to be able to share feeds. Um, we found that it's really productive to have this kind of a, a streaming it out loud application in uh, break rooms uh, for different events, for yam jams, for uh, having uh, team screens in, in meeting spaces, uh, you know, just anywhere that you have sort of a screen, basically you can show this feed and it's a really great way to sort of drive adoption of Yammer inside of your organization, get people excited about seeing stuff out there and, you know, seeing their posts 
post up there in lights, right? It really helps too to, to help people get engaged and you know consistently using Yammer, uh, which is a, you know just a great uh, benefit to the organization. So I hope this was a useful little demo and uh, feel free to ask us any more questions at streamingitoutloud.com and we look forward to hearing you.